Hey guys and welcome to part 6 of the building system tutorial. Before we start I just wanted to inform you that uh, now is March and I'm in my exam month and that's why I have not so much time for uh, tutorials but I will continue to yeah to share at least one in a week. So let's start. First I want to show you what uh, problem we or I found in the last video. So if we place our wall here and then our ceiling with three, it can snap, but now we can not snap anything there because this is a new actor, the ceiling actor, and we cast only to the build actor, so there is no interaction with this. So let's fix this. To fix this, we want to open up our first person blueprint or third person whatever you got and there we go into the event graph first and here our check foundation function has here the cast failed directly into the returner from this we need a second cast because we also have this ceiling actor put this and the object is this and then we want to do the same like here oh and I forgot something we just disable this connection and make a new return node like this then we plug in this and we plug this in and we plug this together and from this cast failed we go into the return node like this so let's close these all here. So next up we have check build actor. Of course we need to rename this because we're checking for build actor and ceiling actor. And for this we just copy first this one. So we have these booleans here correctly. Get the cast failed. And cast to ceiling actor from the actor, <coughs> and here I think we need to yeah we need to get new the foundations again because the resource from them is from the build actor not from the ceiling actor so we delete those and get found two. We want to get found three. Found four. Connect those up. Then create a new return node. Again, connect these and this. And we are ready with this one. So close this up. Go back into the event graph. And last but not least, we need to the get collision. Here we have again a cast which fails then. So we cast to ceiling like this and now we copy well, we get those then press shift and connect these two and connect those so we have here all of them so copy them here over so delete always the reference to the build actor and replace it with the reference to the ceiling like this and three Oops. I think I pause here and continue then so I finished this and we just need to connect this again with the hit actor and yeah so and uh, yeah i forgot to connect those together here compile and save so now it should uh, somehow work so we get here with three our foundation which can connect there and now here's a bit buggy uh, if we press three the ceiling won't connect because this is a foundation and if we do our foundation 
this works. So the thing is we need to yeah modify the ceiling actor more. So let's see. So okay, let's <coughs> go to the ceiling actor and actually let's work this out. So here is our foundation. So let's rename this ceiling. And ceiling four. So now, if we have here our ceiling one, two, three, this are the local IDs one, two, three, four. So let's see here. Maybe we need to do some new. Um, IDs so get in the get collision. We were stuck here at nine. So make this ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Compile and save. So we want this to go more there. Maybe. 13 and oh, 1, too much. So this needs to be a ceiling here. So let's see what this does here. So 1 is not connecting to also and 3 is connecting but is not spawning. So Let's get here into the event graph. So we have this uh, here are the walls. Here is the ceiling, I guess. Spawn ceiling actor. So we have 10, 11, 12, and 13. Let's plug these all together. So let's see now. This works. Oh, and ah, okay, because yeah, we actually use here the transform from the ceiling here. So we want this to be onto the onto the ceilings here. So let's disconnect these and let's do it maybe exactly like here. So we. So, yeah, okay. So we copy up this here. So we got four of them. And let's see. We make or no, let's do it otherwise. Let's delete this and let's get this and this and pull a bit it out here. So we want this to be exactly like this and we want this like this. So we copy this up here and we connect this. So now we just get here our build ID, connect this up and from yeah from the 10 which should be the first I guess yeah, connect it to get the transform. So let's, yeah. And, okay, let's actually, this is a bit yeah, messy here. Let's make a function for this. So we just copy this all here up. And we copy this into this new function. And connect this this together. Here we then call this ID and we call this uh, build ceiling and from this one, this is a box collision, we want here a new box collision like this and we connect those together. 
yeah, that's it for this one. So just delete, whoops, delete this, get in here, connect this one, connect this one, connect this one, and let's connect this one. So let's go into this and we could, no, we just leave it as it is now. So connect the build ID here together so we can be sure that it is a ceiling. And the new parent just grab those in here. Like this. And if you finish, you compile, save, and play. Let's test this. So we are building here our, uh, our ceiling now. One is the default, so I press two and three. And now, yeah, we can really build ceilings here and not only foundations. So another problem I uh, found is that if we want to place a wall now, it's kind of hard to, yeah, to actually get this because here is a collision uh, which, uh, yeah, deletes our line trace. So to show you this better, I go into the viewport and select here those uh, yeah those collisions and make them visible in game so you can see what, what I'm talking about. So now if we build now here you can see that if I have my wall connected and want to go there I'm here on this collision so it stops so I can't build from here a wall only from the side, so this is a bit yeah, confusing or annoying. And I don't really have a fix for this. I try now to do it, but uh, maybe I will do a second video on this. And let's just make this better here. So let's see which wall was this. Wall 2, wall 3. Yeah, which of you guys? There. One. So, uh, yeah, here, just make this one again, and from this one also make this one again. So the thing is that we need to do it so that if we using our walls here, it should ignore this box collision. But um, I didn't, yeah, really think about it as I started with the tutorial, so this is probably very hard. I will just look now into it, stop the video, and if I find a fix, I will show you. So guys, um, yeah, I tested a bit around, but uh, there seems not to be a perfect way for this, so I just leave it now as it is, and uh, in the next video I continue with uh, multiplayer with Steam and such stuff. And if I find someone a way to yeah, actually uh, trace through the box collision when uh, we uh, selected the wall, then I will of course show you. So what we got now is we can easily make here a foundation two by two, and yeah, can connect here some walls. Yeah problem here is in the same that we here can do two walls so this is a bit messy and yeah but yeah, it works so um, yeah the foundations we can snap them together but oh here is a small bug if I press this he connects it to here so let's see somewhere it's the same book no it's only here on the side okay let's look into this so it comes here from the ceiling actor I guess from one of those here so that should problems in one two three four let's Check which one it is. So let's print.
change here of the name of the component so we can see the actual component name. So now we see this is wall dot three and this should be ceiling two. Good. Good. Okay, there is a problem with ceiling two. So connect these again up. Let's get into the viewport ceiling one, ceiling two, ceiling three, ceiling four. So it's a bit here messy. So one, two, three, so Huh. If the ID is two. Okay, I need some time to look into this. Okay, uh, I don't know if I fixed this, but I saw here a problem. We always destroy the ceiling, so we want here to destroy uh, yeah, the parameter of this. So compile this and let's see if this changed something for us. So, no, here it does nothing. But here everything is working. No, here is also not working. So this seems a bit weird. Okay, I tried to find this. Okay, weird. I found my mistake. I, uh, in the first person character, I did here the get collision where we set it here, the max one. I <laughs> just did here ceiling three and here ceiling two, so this can't really work. So this to this and this to this one. Yeah. Let's get this here. And it should work now, so big mistake from my side here. Yeah. I'm sorry for this. Yeah and now it's working. So yeah. Um Next video will be about multiplayer or maybe a new character system I got with Death3D, it's a new studio, or not a new, but for me a kind of new studio, and yeah, I will do this next week, or maybe this weekend. So, thanks for watching, and yeah, have a nice uh, week or weekend. <laughs> Bye!